India is just a special ancient country and the people are just, the people are amazing. The music is amazing. The, the art, the artistry is just, it's, it's mind blowing. And going over there and seeing the problems and saying, I want to make a difference. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do this. So I decided I'm going to open an office here. I'm going to establish a footprint and I'm going to start casting the net. And I'm going to look for people who want to join in on this journey with me, who've got technology that want to come into India and make a difference by don't look at money because a lot of Western companies, especially in this wastewater space, have gone into India and they have really done India a great disservice. One thing you have to understand about India is that you still have that that very, you don't want to think about it. We try to not think it's it's so strict, but it's still, the caste system is very prevalent. It's not going to go away anytime soon. It's not going to go away in my lifetime, I'm sure of it. It's been embedded for thousands of years. Brutal. That it's it, It's brutal. And so the folks that are allowed to handle human waste are the lowest of the lowest castes. And they're the least educated of the population. So when you come in and you put in a centralized wastewater treatment plant that is kind of like you would see in the United States and you get it up and running and it's great, but here's a little known fact, 73% of the centralized wastewater treatment plants in India are essentially inoperable. I mean, they operate, they're on, the lights are on, the water comes in, things go through a bar screen, the rags and the debris are taken. But that water pretty much goes out to the receiving waters, not too different than the way it came in. Huh. 73%, you said. Are inoperable. That's wild. We're not operating at what, how they 27% should. kind of work. <laughs> kind of work, okay? Because... The mechanics and the knowledge needed to run a plant of that complexity. You need engineers. You need class A wastewater operators. You're not going to get that with a gentleman who, if he's lucky, has a third grade education and can barely read and write. So if there's going to be a change, either people have to come in from the outside and pony up and work shoulder to shoulder with the people that under that cultural system are allowed to do this work and train them through pictures, through verbal, for through video, and work with them in their language and train them how to operate. Or it has to be contracted, where people from the West have to come in and come in and do that work, or we have to develop simpler, easier to operate technology that is efficient, that is solar, that is sustainable, has fewer moving parts, will do what it needs to do, but can be managed by the people who are gonna manage it. 